Hey guys, it's Patrick and I am joined here with Tyler from Carbon Tyler Five. Light. I'm actually down in Phoenix, Arizona for this video. We've got something pretty cool. Tyler, why don't you explain what we've got going on here with this True Stone? So the guys that make True Stone are local to me and I took some of my glow down there and asked them to help make the True Stone glow. And so we have made Glow in the Dark True Stone. It's the first ever like this. What's really unique about it is we were able to make the veins glow in the True Stone. And that's been something that makers have had a really hard time to be able to make a material like this. Yeah, that's unreal. I've never, literally there's nothing else like it. Yeah, it's the first of its kind. Yeah. Ever. All right, so these are the materials. Really excited to make the ring from it. I think it's kind of like a match made in heaven. These should go to get together wonderfully. But let's go ahead and head over to the True Stone Factory. I'm really excited to show you guys just how it's done. All right, so we're here at Russell's Turquoise Factory and they are the creators of True Stone. And if you look behind us, you can see just all the crazy, amazing selection they have. I'll probably just show some like B-roll of just like all the selection. I think it's super interesting. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the facility and just give you a little bit more info about it. So essentially over the past 50 years, they've spent their time researching and developing new techniques. They really have become a world leader in turquoise stabilization and just innovation in the turquoise space in general. So throughout their time working with turquoise, they've noticed that a lot of uh, just like mines or types of turquoise in general, they'll get depleted, whether the mine gets shut down or the world just runs out of it. And it's kind of a huge environmental impact. The, the world's resource of turquoise is kind of dwindling and especially a lot of the better stuff for jewelry and that. And if you didn't know, specific mines or specific areas will produce types of turquoise that you don't see anywhere else in the world. So there's kind of a finite amount of it. If that mine or whatever runs out, there's no more of it. So they've pioneered this technique where they're able to actually reproduce these special and certain patterns and colors and do it down to just perfect accuracy. And the techniques they use for it, they're fairly secretive and they are really just kind of technologically advanced. They literally have spent the last 50 years developing it. So I can't share too much with you guys, but just know that the material really does speak for itself. I don't really have to say anything or claim anything because you can see from the pictures, it just looks fantastic, it looks authentic. It's great. And the form that they're able to put it in, they use these molds for it. They're able to get up to a 10 times yield increase. And, and what that means essentially is when you're able to produce these nice, big, consistent blocks, you can be a lot more efficient in the way that you use it. So think if you're trying to make a bead and you need to turn it into a sphere, you're gonna have to take a really big chunk of turquoise, turn it into a sphere, you're gonna waste a lot of that material. And so with the block form, they're able to be just way more efficient with the way they use it. And they're able to reuse a lot of this stuff. They're able to use even powders or some of these small pieces that you see here and turn it into these beautiful blocks that look authentic. Very, very impressed with what they had to show us here. And it just gave me so much more appreciation for this material in general. And I'm just really excited to get back and start working with it for this ring and then hopefully a lot more in the future. If you saw anything in this video while I walked you down the aisle of all the True Stone, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to try to use it in a future video. All right, so that's the end of our tour here. I really hope you guys like this. This is really special for this video because obviously I'm not in Phoenix, Arizona every day. But anyways, let's go ahead and head back to Tyler's shop and let's finish up making this ring. And uh, I'm really excited to show it to you guys. We just got back from the True Stone place and we've got our slab of glowing True Stone that we are going to cut down so that we can make it a little more manageable to make rings out of. All right, now we're gonna use diamond plated hole saws to cut out a ring blank. All right, so we've got both blanks cut out here. These are going to sleeve together. They don't quite fit now. We need to use the lathe to give it kind of a perfect, more concentric fit. So that's why we didn't uh, go so extreme with the hole saws earlier. But once these fit together, we'll laminate the two so they'll have a permanent bond and we'll be ready to go. All right, now I'm just gonna trim it down here with the lathe. All right, this should be good. There we go. 
it fits, but there's literally, there's no wiggle room. I'm wiggling this back and forth, there's no air gap. That's perfect, that's how you want it. Just enough room for you to fit laminating resin, but nothing more. Okay, I've got a two-part epoxy right here that we've already mixed up, and we're gonna use it to laminate these two pieces together. All right, we've got the epoxy blanks out of the oven. You can see there's just epoxy everywhere. It's time to clean this up, trim it down, get it to size and make it look like an actual ring. This is gonna look really good. All right, we're putting the blank into the jaws and we're just gonna trim out the outside and get it so it can fit on the mantle. All right, we sized the inside just a little bit and shaved it down so it'll fit on the mandrel and be straight. Now what we're gonna do is shave down the exterior and we're gonna go nice and slow and easy because the true stone is very temperamental when you're cutting it with cutters. All right, so we're ready to start rounding off the inside. We sized it all ready when we were cutting it uh, originally. So we just have the sanding steps to go. We need to round off the inside, make sure it's uh, super comfortable to wear, and then just get rid of any of the sanding lines. We don't want any little lines, little streaks, anything like that. We just want it to be a nice, smooth, consistent material when we're done. And then uh, we'll be finished at that point, and then I just can't wait to see this in the dark. All right guys, here is the ring. Here it is in the light. You can see the way that vein structure turned out. I love that. Super contrasty, looks super good. And I like that really bright red liner on the inside. It's pretty subtle when you're wearing it. Just a kind of little uh, halo around your finger at certain angles. But it's just such a kind of just like flare that it's got on the inside. It's just a little secret. Um, but anyways guys, if you like this ring, let us know. We've got enough material to make about 50 of these, so we're going to do a limited run of them. We'll have a link down in the description you can check out. Um, but without further ado, I think you all know what time it is. It's time to turn off the lights, get out the UV light, charge this thing up, and uh, see how it looks. Alright, let's charge it up. Oh my, look at that. It's like magma. Just like little plates of rock that cracked and there's magma showing through. That's what that reminds me of. Let me charge it up and then we'll turn off the UV light. UV light's kind of cheating. There we go. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Really cool look. Put it on your finger. Got that subtle halo casting that nice glow. Let me see, just that really awesome vein structure. This is a great ring. This was a lot of fun making this video. And uh, thanks a lot to Tyler for making it possible. Yeah, thanks for coming down. Thanks for filming with me. Yeah, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.